What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Chet, and today we'll design a professional cover for your low content books. Creating a beautiful cover for your low content books is a must if you want to start generating a meaningful income in selling low content books on Amazon KDP platform. And you don't have to be a professional designer to create this type of covers. All you need is Adobe Photoshop and some high quality images or patterns from reputable stock sites as backgrounds. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post one of these videos. And before we start, please make sure that you carefully understand and adhere to the license that comes with any stock images that you download and intend to use for commercial purposes. These different websites all have different licenses and restrictions. It's important to know that the image is suitable for what you intend to do with it. So again, read that license very carefully and make sure that you understand what it means and stick to the rules and adhere to that license. All right, let's start creating that cover. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is a high quality pattern. Sites like Creative Fabrica, Design Cuts, or even Etsy have tons of high quality graphics, illustrations, and patterns. And I've already downloaded mine earlier from Creative Fabrica, and as you can see here, these patterns are just perfect for book covers. So for example, I want this one. And what we need to do with this is make this into a pattern in Photoshop. So just right click on the image and then open with Adobe Photoshop. Then go to edit and define pattern. Name this, hit OK. Now that you have that already, the next thing you need to do is head over to KDP's cover template download site and the link is in the description or you can also search KDP cover template. Then download the right template that you need, for example, 5x8 and the page count will be 80 and paper color white. And then just hit on download cover template. I already have that as well. So 5x8 and right click on it and open with Adobe Photoshop and make sure that the resolution is 300 and if the mode is on RGB color just switch it over to CMYK color and but not that it matters as KDP will change it anyway then just hit OK. Now we need to lower the opacity of this layer so we can still see the other layers underneath it later. This is just our guide so just go over to opacity and just lower it for a bit maybe this will do okay next is we're gonna add a new layer by going to layer new fill layer pattern and hit okay and choose the pattern that you like and just hit okay and we need to put this guide layer over to our pattern layer so we can see it properly. Now we can disable and enable this anytime we want. I normally like to have a spine on my cover so I can put the title on it. So usually just a plain color will do. Just head over to rectangle tool and then choose draw a rectangle. And you can change the color by going to the properties and if you don't have this, it can be found in Window, Properties. So whatever layer you've selected over here, all its properties can be found in this panel. So for this, I have the rectangle layer selected. Now I can change the color to whatever color I want. For example, I'm going to put this layer here and then hide this. And I want to change the color. maybe green so what I can do is click on this color picker over here and I can choose whatever color I want or maybe this is nice oh, there you go okay now I want to put a rectangle over here something like this and you can change the color of this as well you can also put a stroke on it. Maybe I can do white and change the stroke size to maybe 5 so it can be seen. Okay. There you go. 
maybe to another one. Something like this one. And no fill. I have to click on this one because I don't want any fill on that. Let's make sure it's selected. Okay. Now for the text or the book title, just use this type tool and just click anywhere on your document. And let's say this is a gratitude journal. And head on to, and my text is still selected. I have to put it over there. And uh, let's put it here. Then change the font to whatever font you like. Oops. Dude. And maybe this one. Change the size to 50. Okay. I'm going to do another one. Change it again. There you go, looking good. So the last thing, you can put anything here, your logo or, or whatever you want, or even a text at the back cover. And for the logo, you just drag and drop the logo over and then resize it and situate it to wherever you want in your book. Then the last thing that you want to do is check everything. If it's within the safe zone, and this is the safe zone here, and that means Everything should be inside the red border. This is our red border, right? So you don't need to worry about adding a bleed or anything like that since we've opened this directly with Photoshop. And Photoshop has taken on the proper dimension of this cover. And the dotted line here, as you can see, well, let's try to enhance the opacity back. So here is the dotted line. The dotted line is the trim size of the cover and everything outside of the dotted line is the bleed. So when you're satisfied with your design, it's time to export it. And don't forget to turn off the guide layer first because we don't want that showing in our cover. Now head on to File, Save As, and change the format to PDF, maybe Flower Cover, change the name. Hit save. Now for the PDF preset, you want to choose high quality print or PDF X1A. And for this preserve Photoshop editing capabilities, you can disable or enable it. It just means that if you enable this one, you can do some more edits later on. And then just save a PDF. And this is what it looks like. You can upload this right away on KDP. As you can see, seamless patterns are really great and much easier to use than creating your own patterns, which you can still do, of course. But for those who are not designers or illustrators, this is a great solution to be able to create high quality covers. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share this on social media. It really helps the YouTube algorithm.